Havana's colonial old town is full of music. And increasingly, visitors from the United States. And they were happy. This is an official newspaper of the Cuban Communist Party. Just two years ago, Americans visiting Cuba without special permission from the U.S. government faced the prospect of hefty fines, even prosecution. But the thaw in U.S.-Cuban relations and loosening of restrictions on travel to the communist-run island has led to a surge in U.S. visitors, up 93 percent from last year, according to Cuban government figures. Many Americans say they want to see Cuba while the island remains stuck in a Cold War time war. Our friends have been here and so they said, let's go, why don't you go to Cuba before it becomes too westernized? Too westernized? Yes, before you see McDonald's and Walmart and all of the other U.S. companies here in Cuba. Cuba's largely state-run tourism industry is already buckling under the increased demand. The, the hotels are full. The infrastructure wasn't ready for the avalanche of interest, whether it's American travelers, Chinese travelers, Canadian travelers. Uh, Cuba is building their infrastructure up. They have plans over the next four or five years to add many additional hotels. Um, so we just advise people to plan ahead. Tourism will likely continue to boom. Soon it will be much easier for Americans to fly to the island. Up until now, the only way that Americans could come to Cuba was via third countries or on expensive, inefficiently run charter services. But that's all changing now that direct flight service is being restored between the U.S. and Cuba after more than 50 years. The first direct flight will land here in Santa Clara, Cuba, where revolutionary icon Che Guevara is buried. Even though he was tracked down and killed with help from the CIA, Cuban officials say Guevara would have agreed with the opening to the U.S. So I would say that he was not uh, di uh, different from us, thinking that even with the kind of differences that we have, it's uh, beneficial for Cuba and the United States to, to have normal relations. Benefits that can be seen on Havana streets, already packed with U.S. visitors. As Cuba's economy continues to struggle, the boom in U.S. visitors is a rare bright spot that's only expected to grow. Patrick Ottman, CNN, Havana, Cuba.